This time I take you to the state of Kuwait, a country in the Middle East located at the tip of the Persian Gulf, sharing borders with Saudi Arabia and Iraq. What do you know about Kuwait? I didn't know much before I decided to visit it on my way to Asia. And now I will share my experience with you. I always try to avoid all touristic activities and to make my stay as local as possible. The easiest and most pleasurable way to do it is to use Couchsurfing. For the people who don't know what Couchsurfing is, it is a community for travelers who can connect with each other, become a host and guest or just hang out together. It is a wonderful way of networking, meeting new local people who often become your friends. I have been very lucky to be hosted by generous Egyptian couple and I will never forget their hospitality. Yes, you heard correct, Egyptians. There is 4 million people living in Kuwait, from which 70% are expats, mainly from Egypt and India. Coming back to the topic, my lovely Egyptian couple not only helped me to discover the city of Kuwait, but they were also my personal baristas, videographer, drivers, chef and many more titles. We even celebrate the birthday of my host together. Happy birthday! <laughs> not only places create best memories, but people you meet on the way during traveling. And this is what this vlog is about, the kindness of Kuwait. Right now I'm in an um, Egyptian family who is hosting me in a couch serving and they are so wonderful and they prepared traditional Egyptian dinner which I really wanted to show you guys. So uh, here it comes. Mm, what do we have over here? On the right, rice with small noodles. Next to it, bowl with green vegetables, molokia. Then we have steak beef barbecue sauce. green salad and chili pepper pickles here we have a um, traditional egyptian soup and it's called sorbet lesan asfour and uh, the name suggests that um, it, the pasta in the soup is uh, in the shape of bird's tongue this is how you make delicious arabic coffee Time for the road trip to the desert. Speaking of desert, in a chase of a local experience, I found myself in a private desert camp. Without knowing any Arabic, having anyone to translate, I experienced best Kuwaiti hospitality from the strangers. It is amazing what body language and big smile can do. This is a beautiful tent where uh where the woman, Arabic woman, invited me. Unfortunately, I cannot show them on the camera, but they are so kind. I received kahwa, so it's coffee. I received dates. Yellow drink is kahwa, Arabic coffee. Then we have dates and mix of nuts and seeds. This is just amazing. This is what they have offered me. They were so proud of their heritage and they presented me all they could for my recording. This is indoor bonfire. That is how they keep chai, tea, warm. And this is how they serve it, in the little chai glasses called estekana. This is perfume and it smells just wonderful. Behind me you can see what tents are made of. It is traditional Kuwaiti waving called sadu. Handmade, yeah, so before or grandmother, all <laughs> wow, very beautiful decoration. This woman um, agreed, so I can have her on that camera. So you can admire traditional burka from the front and from behind. I also visited their farm with camels behind the camp. He likes to be pet. What's what's his name? Name? Anything. No. Anything. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, anything. <laughs> they welcome me so nicely. I'm so grateful for this experience. Thank you, Kuwait. <laughs>
Okay, okay, okay. What you do for the video? 